In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and play Minecraft on a Windows laptop or PC. So there's two main ways to do this. The first way being just going to your web browser, typing in Minecraft, and going to Minecraft.net, and selecting buy and going through that process. But there's a better way to do it because you could potentially get one month free. So what you want to do is go to your search tab and type in store. And then we're going to be going to the Microsoft Store. Now this is going to boot up this page here. And what you want to do is select gaming on the left sidebar. And then this is going to bring us to all the different games that are offered. And you should see Minecraft. Now if you don't, what you can do is just go to the search tab in the top and then type in Minecraft and we'll get to the same place. So I'm going to click on it now, and this is where you'll find Minecraft, Java, and Bedrock Edition for PC. And there's actually a lot more editions you can purchase. So if I select this drop-down tool, you'll see there's a bunch of different Minecraft editions. Now for most people, the Java and Bedrock Edition is going to be what you want. And you have two different options here. You can either buy it outright, or you can play it with Game Pass and join now. This is a monthly subscription where you gain a bunch of access to a huge library of games. And one of the great things about Game Pass is oftentimes it's on sale. And if you have a new PC or laptop, if you go to this library button in the bottom left corner, you may get a free month. So what you wanna do is go to included with device. And this is where you'll see Xbox Game Pass Ultimate one month subscription and you can claim it for free. Now, if you don't have this, no worries, just go back to gaming and you can purchase it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and claim this first though. So once you're finished, you can go back to gaming and then we're gonna be going to Minecraft. And from here, since we've purchased the Game Pass, we're gonna go to play with Game Pass. And what you wanna do when you get to this page is actually just scroll down. And once we scroll down a little bit, we're going to be going to explore the Xbox app. Now this is going to load it up and show you all the different games that you can download with the Game Pass. And this is where we're going to be installing Minecraft. So here we are, it looks like it's just loading up a little bit, could be a little bit slow. And now we're just going to scroll down and find it, or you could use this search option at the top. And then we're gonna be selecting Minecraft. And from here, we're just gonna go to install. Then it's going to tell us how much space it's going to take up. Let's go to install. It's only about 1.2 gigabytes. And then we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, so the download just finished. And now you'll see in this bottom left corner here, it said Minecraft Java Edition and Bedrock Edition is ready to play. So once that's happened, you can go to the Minecraft launcher, which is in the left sidebar, and then you just simply wanna go to play. So let's do that now. Now this is going to boot us to the main menu where you wanna input your Hotmail address or create a new one if needed, and then we'll be able to actually play the game. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in now. If you need to create one, you can select this one here. Once that's finished, it's going to bring you to this place here, and you can either play the Java edition, or you can go ahead and play the Bedrock edition. I'm going to go ahead to the left sidebar and select Minecraft for Windows, just because it runs a lot smoother. You can do crossplay. It's just an upgraded version of the Java edition. So let's go ahead and press play now. And now we're waiting for the game to boot up. So now that the game started up, it's saying welcome to Minecraft and to sign in with your Microsoft account to get all these different things. So we're gonna go ahead and sign in now. So now we're at the home menu of the game. So why don't we go ahead and press play and create our first world. So we're gonna go to create new and then let's go to create new world. And we're just gonna go with a very basic one. We're not really gonna change anything here except maybe going to creative mode rather than survival so we don't die right away. And we'll just name it New World. So from here, let's go to create and then it's going to boot it up for us. Okay, so we just created this new world and it looks like we're in this snowy environment. But at this point, you are now playing Minecraft on your PC and it's just a matter of enjoying the adventure. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.